Welcome to Intro to Mechatronics Part 2. In this video, we'll be going over seal circuits and ladder logic. For your reference, I have a summary of our last video, Part 1, on this slide. So to start off the video, let's take a look at two normally open contacts and one normally off coil. The first input contact will represent a start button and this will be designated with the letter A. The button when pressed will connect the circuit. The second contact, which we will refer to as B, is a stop button that is wired normally closed. Or in other words, it is always connected until the button is pressed, then the circuit is no longer connected. These two contacts connect a coil that will represent a motor with a fan on it. Now let's take a look at what happens when we press the start motor button A. The motor starts running. Notice that the stop motor button is powered on by default. We will be representing a closed contact by a yellow box around the contact and the flow of electricity by yellow arrows. So now let's see what happens when we stop pressing the start button. The motor turns off. Notice that this logic makes it so you have to continuously press the start button for the motor to stay on. You could circumnavigate this by having a toggle switch, or we could use a seal circuit. So what is a seal circuit? It is a circuit that remembers that the start button was pushed. We add another coil, that is X1, which is a memory bit, to remember that the switch was pressed. We put that same bit in parallel with the start button, or in other words, OR dated, so that either the start button can be pushed, or it can remember that the start button was pushed, and the motor will run. We then place another rung that has a contact of X1 that when activate completes the circuit and powers on the motor, which is coil X2. Now let's see what happens when we press the start button. Power flows through the A and B contact to the X1 remember coil. On the next rung, the X1 contact is energized, which energizes the X2 motor run coil. So if we stop pressing the start button, the energy now will flow through the X1 remember branch and power the motor. To break the seal circuit, we can turn on the stop button, which is a normally connected button, to break the circuit. Now the remember bit is off and the motor is off. When we release the stop button, the motor stays off. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.